Hi, this is Dr. Beyer of uh, Beyer Chiropractic in Frankfurt, and I wanted to present another case study of a, a patient who did really well with a, a functional medicine approach for a, a thyroid condition that she had. Uh, this patient had, uh, this is a, a really interesting case, I think, too, which is another reason why I wanted to do a case study on it, because this patient um, had had um, radiation therapy for uh, Graves' disease, which is uh, an, an autoimmune condition that causes hyperthyroid. Uh, and she had had, as a treatment, as a medical treatment, uh, radiation therapy to kill off the thyroid gland uh, because it was, it, was, it was overactive. And the reason why this is such a, an interesting case is because I, I treat a lot of people with, with different autoimmune conditions, including Graves, and uh, a lot of people with autoimmune hypothyroid, which is called Hashimoto's, and, and other autoimmune conditions. And with all those conditions, the typically the, the, the medical approach just doesn't get to the underlying problem because the underlying problem is a, is a dysfunctioning immune system. And so with this particular patient, she had had uh, radiation therapy to kill off the thyroid gland, but that didn't do anything to address the, the underlying dysfunctioning immune system. With an autoimmune condition, uh, the immune system is mistakenly recognizing some part of the body as being foreign and, and is attacking it. And so she had, had undergone this uh, treatment uh, about seven years before coming to me, had had symptoms prior to that, but um, uh, after having had the radiation therapy, she really had a decline into uh, fatigue and, and some other symptoms also. Her, her main complaints were when she came in was fatigue, uh, anxiety and moodiness, uh, uh, gastrointestinal issues, diarrhea and constipation that, that alternated really bad uh, sleep problems, sleep that was interrupted pretty much every night, and also had tinnitus, or the, the ringing in the ears. And so these complaints had, had continued, even though, uh, uh, including the fatigue, even though after having gone through the, the, the radiation therapy to kill off the thyroid gland, she had been put on Synthroid, which is, you know, a hormone, a thyroid hormone therapy. And so she came into me and we did the lab workup and confirmed, you know, that uh, the immune system, the autoimmune issue was, was still there, of course, through the blood test. But then she had uh, um, a variety of other metabolic issues and, and some uh, dysfunction of the nervous system where it really wasn't controlling everything very well. And so we did the, the appropriate uh, protocols that, that, we, uh, that I typically do with people who have autoimmune conditions that addresses what's stressing the immune system. In fact, her immune system had been uh, dysfunctioning and, and stressed for so long that uh, in addition to it being imbalanced, and that's typically what's happening with an autoimmune condition, is that one part of the immune system is really overactive and one part's underactive, but hers had been dysfunctioning for so long, her, just generally her white blood cell count was down and she had had immune fatigue also. So really some, some deep underlying uh, immune dysfunction. Uh, and None of that was being addressed with any kind of treatments she had, she had uh, gone through, in, including the radiation therapy. So we uh, did the typical um, uh, protocols that we do for people with autoimmune conditions, which addresses the underlying contributing factors. There, there's always uh, GI issues, permeabil permeability issues within the GI tract, systemic inflammatory issues, which the blood tests uh, confirmed, and other metabolic issues, uh, food, um, immune reactions to foods, food sensitivities, things like that. So we, we addressed all these uh, at the same time, you know, in a systematic uh, approach, as well as doing some treatments to get the nervous system control and everything very well. And, you know, she had been suffering quite a bit, uh, actually, uh, over a number of years. And in a four-month treatment protocol, had rep uh, reported at the end of the, uh, the four months a 75% improvement in fatigue, 80% uh, improvement in anxiety and moodiness. Just a huge change. The, the, uh, the GI issues were 100% gone. No more constipation, no more diarrhea. The sleep was pretty much sleeping through the night, almost every night, 80% improvement, only occasionally a minor interruption in the sleep, great improvement. And even the tinnitus had improved uh, 50%. Uh, and that's, in my opinion, directly related to uh, some of the, the functional neurological treatments that we do with, with patients who have these kind of issues. So. Uh, you know, like I've talked about in the last case study, this quite honestly really is, is not that unusual of a case response, uh, of, of a response that, you know, positive response that we get. Too many people are just suffering with these chronic conditions because they're going through uh, treatments in a traditional medical route, which just don't get to the underlying causes. 
So uh, this patient is typical in that we were able to identify, you know, some some underlying issues that totally respond to the kind of approaches that, that we utilize. So I just wanted to present that out there to you and, and uh, you know, give you hope. If you're suffering with a chronic condition, a thyroid condition, then um, you, you, there's a good chance, you know, that we can identify some of the underlying causes actually and, and address those rather than just mask up the symptoms with, with some kind of drug therapy or some kind of hormone therapy. Um, so I want to give you an offer to come in, okay? Uh, there's a great book that we really recommend that, that patients read. Uh, Dr. Karazian uh, wrote this book, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? And I want to give you a little incentive to come in. If you call within a week of us posting this, then we'll give you a free copy of this uh, on, uh, on the first visit that you come in. And we're also doing a, a workshop next week on Wednesday. Uh, I have to look at the date here, excuse me. Wednesday the 14th. Uh, January 14th, Wednesday at 6.30 in the evening, we're doing a, uh, a free informational workshop. Um, this, the space is limited for the workshops in the office, so you need to call and, and make a, um, a reservation to come in and see that. So a couple options. Uh, if, you, if this really strikes a chord and makes sense, you want to come in, get an evaluation, see if you're a candidate, give the office a call. We'll give you a copy of Dr. Krasian's book. If uh, you're, you're not quite sure, you want to get a little bit more detailed information, workshop's a great way to do it. No charge for the workshop, and we'll even give you a copy of this book also when you come in uh, to attend the workshop. But again, you have to call to, to make a reservation uh, for the workshop because our seating is limited. So give the office a call. Hope is out there for you.